on the on the bit of funding, that has been a long time problem. Um, like you mentioned, even with the time that you were doing campaigns and and all that, you were being sponsored by international agencies and donors. What is what exactly is the problem, and how do we address it when it comes to funding our own uh, 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 projects with the Ghana AIDS Commission? Well, uh, as a country, we need uh, about we need more than one hundred and thirty million dollars equivalent for the AIDS response every year, and. Um, Government of Ghana doesn't have uh, that money for the AIDS response. So donors, donors actually pay the, chunk, the, the biggest part of it. Now, the, the funding requirements, because we do not have adequate funding, we have to prioritize. And so a antiretroviral medicine uh, and other HIV commodities like test, uh, test kits, um, reagents, and other supplies for laboratory um, work are high priority. Mm. Doc, I'll, I'll, permit me, please. Okay. I'll, I'll ask you to hold your thoughts there. Kwame is joining us from the central region. Hello, Kwame. Let's hear you. Yeah, good morning. Good I want morning. to ask um, Dr. Swahim. Why, yes, why is it that we are having um, ambassadors, eight ambassadors who are ever, I've seen Jicho and then another lady. It comes with certain stigma in itself when you tend to alienate only one region. I mean, it's not too good, I'm not too sure. You would have to look at it. In the UK, they don't even advertise HIV. But they have a lot of HIV cases. We know where the centers are, but in the Ghana case, the TV is inundated with this HIV stuff, which is a bit not too good, I would think. I don't know what your views are, but I'm not too happy with some of this. Right. Why well, that the uh, stigmatization of a region, as having them as only um, its ambassadors, it comes with the ladies not being attracted to other people because there's a suspicion of they carry HIV. Right, I mean, <clears throat> point well noted. I'll have Doc respond to that. Doc? Uh, I think it's a misconception. It's a misconception because there was no ethnic um, element in the criteria used. The people, the four people um, who were appointed as heart to heart ambassadors were appointed on the basis of, you know, uh, volunteerism. They volunteered to do the work. As Gigi, uh, sorry, as uh, Gifty. Gifty said, she herself, even before, long before she was appointed, she herself declared her status. Nobody forced her. She felt compelled to make it known to the whole world. Gigi, Gifty, Reverend Azuma, uh, uh, and her, his uh, wife. late wife, uh, may, may she rest in peace, and um, charity. Charity is not an ever, but they offered themselves uh, to support their response. We now have several persons living with HIV who are doing you know, similar activities, although we have not appointed them as ambassadors, uh, but they are doing exactly what uh, uh, what the heart-to-heart um, the -heart ambassadors uh, also did. Mm. And so, please, don't misunderstand the, the, uh, the work that these people are doing. It has nothing to do with ethnicity. It has nothing to do... There is no intention to stigmatize uh, Volta region, if that is what you want to say. In fact... If any, if any region should complain about stigma, it should be Eastern region because it has been the epicenter of the epidemic right from the beginning until recently. And so uh, there is no ethnic motive about the 
appointment of these ambassadors. Mm. Great. <clears throat>